Welcome to lecture six, using the character data type. So once again, we've already seen a basic variable declaration of type character. Characters can only hold a single character. Unlike strings, which we're gonna look at next, strings can hold a series of characters that form basically words and text. A character variable can only hold a single character, like the character A or the character one. So to create a character, we say character or C-H-A-R, then the character name, so I'm going to say my character equals. Now, we have to put the character in single quotes. The reason why we put it in single quotes is that we don't want the, com the compiler to try to look for other variables with this name. The quotes basically say, ignore that this is just a name of something or some kind of text. So that's why we put single quotes around it. So single quotes go around a character. So this is the character A. If I print to the console my character, it's going to print the character A. So I can put an A in. I can put a B, a B in. I can put a 5 in. See, let's do a number. So this number is a character number. It's not an actual integer. It's getting treated as just a character. Um, you also can do symbols, like like the multiplication symbol. The symbol is a character, a single character, so I can display a single character. Now, what I really wanted to show you in this um, small lecture is that characters, there are these escape characters. They're basically a combination of two characters that form one character and do some kind of action. Um, the most common ones are the new line character, um, the tab character, and also characters for displaying quotes. Now, this is an interesting topic. Let's say I want to do, wanted to display a single quote in my character. Like, I want to say maybe, I wanted to, like, display the character quote. See this one right here. But I'm getting an error because now it's forming different kinds of pairs. It's, it's getting confused because the character symbol is used to create a character. So when I say that, it's getting confused of which one, you know, what character are you trying to display and what's going on. So the way you have to fix this, you have to escape it. I had to use an escape character, and that's basically a backslash. So if I put a backslash right there, now it makes this is one character now. So I'm displaying this one character, backslash, um, um, backslash single quote, and now basically this will show the character that I want to show now. So if I run it, you can see it shows just that one character. So you need that in those. Same thing if I wanted to do a double one right like this. When you deal with strings, this will cause an error. And we'll look at this in the next um, lecture. But when I deal with strings, because strings have double quotes, if I use this with double quote, it's going to give me an error. So I have to also escape that. And then that will fix that from, from showing also. Right now, it works fine because it's just a character. And we have the character around it. But when we deal with strings, that will give a problem as well. So those are just things to be aware of. So the the backslash n, this is a new line character. And once again, when we look at strings, we'll look at these again, most likely. And this just makes it go to the new line. So anytime you print this, it goes to the next line. So as you can see, we have a blank line now here because that's the new line character. It goes to a new line. Now, you can look online for a, a bigger list, but same thing if you wanted to display a backslash or... Um, like I said, single quote, double quote. There's also, there's a backslash A, and that's an alert. Backslash N, like we did, was is a new line. Backslash T is a tab. And there's all different ones that you can look up. They're basically just escape sequences that perform some kind of action as a character. This represents one character. That's the only thing that you need to remember, that this character sequence is simply just one character. So that is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll look at strings, and we'll look at how we can compare strings, create strings, and some common functions that come with the string data type that we can use to interact with strings a little bit better.